Welcome to Lab 7, Configuring and Optimizing Storage. This first video will look at removing a SCSI target. Um, this is all part of the Configuring Advanced Windows Server 2012 R2, part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course for, in preparation for exam 70-412. So we're going to be looking over the next couple of videos for these exercises that are part of Lab 7. So let's get started with exercise 1, which is removing a SCSI target. Um, as you can see, we're going to be using all of the machines, the RWDC, the Server 1, Server 2, and the storage. So we're going to go into here. So there is already a SCSI target on Storage 1. In this exercise, we're going to remove the SCSI target from Storage 1 so that can be recreated in the in following exercises. The approximate time for this is about 25 minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is actually log into all of our machines, which I'm in the process of doing now. And I will pause the video while I wait to get these pulled up. Now, it is important that you log on to your machines log on to RWDC01 first as your Contesto Administrator. And then you're going to log on to your storage and your Server 1 and Server 2 as Contoso slash Administrator. So as soon as this is done booting up and I've logged in, I will resume the video. Okay, we've all, everything's all um, logged in as the Contoso slash Administrator. Now we're going to go into Tools. Actually, no. File and storage services first. Then we're going to click on the SCSI, which is right here. And then right click each one. So we're going to right click each one and disable. And I just did my shift and my down arrow to see if I can do them all at once instead of individually. Nope. Have to do them individually because all I'm doing is disabling them. Okay, they've all been disabled. Now we're going to go into Server 1. And click on Tools. And then go into the Initiator. Here we want to click on Volumes and Devices. I'm going to minimize this. And then click on the clear button. I don't see anything that needs to be cleared. Okay, we're going to click on Discovery tab. And we're going to click Storage 1 in the target. And then click on Remove. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK to close that. Now we're going to log on to Server 2. And same thing. Tools. Go into the Initiator. on volumes and devices and then click on clear and then 
Okay, we'll click on the Discovery tab again. And then click on the Storage. And then click Remove. And then we're going to click on OK. And we'll minimize this one, minimize this, go back to storage. Okay, so now we're going to right click on the first one. Let's see if I can do all of them at once this time. Right click. So what I did is I just used my shift and then my arrow key to select all of them. Right click and then remove. And then OK. Now we're going to go back to server 1. And tools. Computer management. And then under storage, we're going to click on disk management. Okay, so now we've clicked on disk management. I'm just kind of connecting to the virtual disk service. And this brings us to question one how many disks are displayed and what are the disks? Let's see, it only shows disk zero, which is the main root, the main system disk. Okay, so now we're going to close out of this, and that is the end of this exercise.